Hi everybody, I'm Dave from Polypad and in this Polypad pointer video, I am excited to show you three ways to use the tiles on Polypad to model 325 minus 189. I'll do it with our number cubes, the number cards, and our exploding dot machine. Let me start with the number cards. I want to create a card for 325. So I'll go to the input field here, hit delete twice to create three, 325, drag this onto the canvas, and then do the same for 189. Here are the two cards. I'm going to move these over to the left and copy them using the copy button in the action bar. And a really nice feature with these number cards is the ability to split them. So I'm going to click on 325, click split, and you can see it splits the card into 320 and 5. I'll do the same thing here, split, splitting 189 into its base 10 representation. And then just to keep track of my work, I'm going to move these, I'm going to copy and put a set over here. So here's my subtraction problem. I'll go to the pen tool, use the ruler to draw a straight line, and just show that I'm doing a subtraction problem here. Cool. So uh, five minus nine, um, the way I want to think about this is I'm going to take this 20 and I'm going to split it into two tens and put a 10 on top of the five. So I'll put this up. I get these two tens. I'll take one of these tens and when I put it onto the five, it's going to merge these together to make 15. So now I can see what was 20 and five has become 10 and 15. I like to keep this here so I can see the original expansion of the number as I'm doing my work on the far right. And I know 15 minus 9 is 6. I'll do the same with 300. I'll split that into three of the 100 tiles, merge these together to make 110, and put those on top to make 200. So 320 and 5 is the same as 200, 110, and 15. 100 minus 80 is 30, so I'll type in 30, and then 200 minus 100 is 100. So there is my answer, 136. I'm going to select all of these, copy them, put it over here, merge those together to get 136. How lovely is that? So that is one way to use the number cards to show and represent what is happening as I split the 20 into the two tens took one of the tens and put it on the five to make 15 and then did that with the 300 as well. For some students that might be a little bit too abstract so maybe breaking those down into the actual cubes might be uh, a representation that is more appropriate for them. So let's do the same problem 325 minus 189. I'll move it down the canvas here with our number cubes. All right, I'm going to have to zoom out a little bit because these take up a little bit more room. So here we are. I'm first going to build 325. So here is the 100. I'll need three of those. So there's three of them. 20. Here's a 10. A nice uh, keyboard shortcut is the C button very easily makes a copy. So I just clicked C to make a copy of that. And then I'll do five of these. One, two, three, four, five. There's 325. I'm going to select all, click the Organize button in the action bar just to make that a little bit neater. Let me zoom out a little bit more. And now I need 189 underneath it. So here is 100. I will do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, just using the C button on my keyboard. And 9. Well, there's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So there is 189. I'm going to organize those. And here are my two numbers. I'm going to zoom out a little bit more to give myself some room. Maybe center this and make it a little bit bigger. And I'm actually, I don't need any more tiles for this one. So I'm going to click on the tiles button to hide the menu until I'm ready to go to our exploding dodge. So here we are. I'm going to just take these and move it over a little bit. Oh, I missed a couple. Let me try that again. I'm just going to move these over to give myself some room. I'll go to my pen tool, and here's the subtraction problem that I'm doing. I like to keep this as my starting problem, so I always have that as the one that I started with, and now I'm going to take all of these, copy them, and do my work over here. I'm going to 
gonna spread out the ones a little bit. Ooh, oh, missed, let me try that again. I'm gonna spread out the ones a little bit and the tens just to give myself some workspace. All right, so here we go. I need to subtract nine from these five, but I don't have nine to, um, to subtract from. So I'll take this 10, move it over here, and click split in the action bar. And when I split that, it becomes 10 ones. Uh, so now I have 10 and five and nine over here. Maybe I'll take four of these and just move them over here so I can see that as a group of nine and then keep the five extra over here. So those nine, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take those nine away. I'm going to show that with the pen tool. Maybe I'll put like an X through this and an X through that. And what's left are these six. So I'll take all of these. Uh, I'm going to pin the action bar. See how the action bar was kind of overflowing here? So there's this option on the action bar to pin it which makes it stay at the bottom of the canvas. Sometimes that's a helpful tool like here. So I'm gonna copy those. And now I'm gonna drag these like down here where I'll keep track of my answer. All right, so that was six. Now I have eight tens here. I need to take eight away from that, from that, that single 10, which I can't. So I'll move over a hundred block and split it. Uh, maybe select all of these to organize it a little bit. I have eight that I have to take away. I could keep track of that with my pen tool. Here's eight. There's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I have three left. So I'll take those three, hit the copy button, and drag those over here to represent that as my answer. And 200 minus 100, if I want to continue to use the pen tool, I could say I want to get rid of that one and get rid of that one. So those go away and I'll take this, make a copy of it and put it over here, 136. So in this, um, in this representation, I can see all of the tiles actually being split. Uh, a 10 cube becomes 10 actual cubes that I could cross off and count as needed. So this first one was a, a little bit more abstract in its base 10 representation. Here is one that is a little bit more concrete, seeing the actual tiles. And I'm gonna end this with one that's sort of in the middle using our exploding dot um, tool. If you haven't explored exploding dots, courtesy of James Tanton, go Google exploding dots and there's so much to learn about all the wonderful tools of exploding dots. Or you can click on this pop-up right here uh, and it'll take you to a page with a lot more information. But I'm going to add this to the canvas. I need to zoom in a bunch. This is a 10-1 exploding dot machine. Again, you can go click right here to learn more. I'm going to build my two numbers, 325. So I'm putting three of these dots in the hundreds place, two of them in the tens place. I'm just going to use the C button on my keyboard, 20, and here's a five. I'm just using the C button to make 325. And here I need 189. So 180, hitting the C button a bunch, 89. All right, so there's my question. Again, if I want to use the pen tool to show that I'm doing a subtraction problem here, I can do that. And I'm going to show my answer in another exploding dot machine. So let me do this. And I'm going to build 325 again as my starting point. 325. Okay, and notice as I was, was putting dots in the machine, I can see these labels at the top that are showing me I have three hundreds, two tens, and five ones, and so on. All right, so I need to do five minus nine here. I need to subtract or remove nine dots out of the ones place. I can't do that. So I'm gonna take this one, and I'm gonna drag it from the tens place to the ones place, and watch what happens when I do that. Oh, it splits up into 10 of them. So now I can see the three, the one, and the 15, which if I scroll all the way up here, there it is, right? There is the 15. So nice connections between all these representations. Let me go back down here. And now I need to remove nine of them. I see nine here in this three by three grid. So I clicked and dragged to select them all. I'll hit delete. And now I need to subtract Eight, but I only have one here, so I'll do that same action 
taking one from the hundreds, putting it into the tens place, and it creates 10 tens. And I need to subtract eight of them. I see those in a four by two um, array. I'll hit delete. And again, I have 236. So three great ways to create meaning to represent 325 minus 189. I hope this uh, polypad pointer video was helpful in showing you how to use these tools. Please share in the comments how you use them with students, what other ideas that you have, and how we can improve these to make them even more valuable in your classroom. Thanks very much for watching.